Thank you and welcome to the show today. The topic this morning is R.H. Boyd and his times. And we're fortunate to have with us to talk about the uh, founder of the National uh, Publishing, uh, National Baptist Publishing Board, uh, R.H. Boyd, uh, Dr. Bobby Lovett. Uh, and Dr. Bobby Lovett is the author of a book dealing with the Boyd family called How It Came to Be. And of course, Dr. Lovett, let me welcome you to uh, the show this morning. Well, thank you, Dr. Haney, and I appreciate being on your show again. And to tell you, Dr. Lovett, how many times we've had you and, and how appreciative we are of you to uh, take the time to come by and to uh, talk to us about some of the many books that you've published over the last uh, several years. And I think one of the books that we're dealing with today has to do with the uh, Boyd family. That is uh, correct. The uh, family that established the uh, National Baptist Publishing uh, Board. And, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, uh, the individual that we're concerned with this morning immediately is R.H. Boyd, the founder mm -hmm. of uh, that particular family. But before we talk about the founding of that family, Dr. Lovett, let's have you to give our audience a, a, some statements in reference to uh, your background, education, and some of the things. And perhaps to say something about uh, some of the uh, many books that you've written mm -hmm. outside of this most recent <coughs> effort, uh, how it came to be dealing with the uh, National Baptist Publishing Board. Let's talk about it from that perspective. Yes. Well, I I'm a native of Tennessee. I'm uh, born and raised in Memphis, uh, finished high school there, and I was um, raised there. Um, did all of my college ed education at the University of Arkansas, master's, doctorate, bachelor's mm -hmm. degree, and so on. Uh, I taught at Eureka College in Illinois, the uh, alma mater of uh, President Ronald Reagan, mm -hmm. the late President mm -hmm. Ronald Reagan. And uh, I left Eureka College and came to Tennessee State University mm -hmm. uh, to be a professor 34 years ago. Mm -hmm. And since that time, I have focused my work on research in Tennessee and mm -hmm. national African-American history. Mm -hmm. uh, my latest two books, one of which we're going to uh, discuss today, um, are titled uh, The Civil Rights Movement in mm -hmm. Tennessee, A Narrative History, Good. Mm -hmm. University of Tennessee Press, uh, mm -hmm. published in 2005. Mm -hmm. And the one that we will discuss today, thanks to you and, and the show, mm -hmm. uh, is how it came to be mm -hmm. the R.H. Board family's mm -hmm. contributions to mm -hmm. African American religious publishing. Mm -hmm. uh, that particular company today is called the uh, R.H. Board Publishing Corporation, mm -hmm. which is headed by Dr. T.B. Board III, mm -hmm. who is one of a long line of family members who mm -hmm. have been the CEO and president mm -hmm. of that particular company since 1896. Mm -hmm. Very few companies in Tennessee, uh, Nashville, or the nation mm -hmm. have been around continuously under the same family mm -hmm. leadership for uh, what uh, this would be mm -hmm. 112 years. Mm -hmm. You know, Dr. Lovett, I was concerned about this uh, uh, book in, in the sense that uh, you're dealing with an individual who came directly out of uh, slavery, mm -hmm. and yet in spite of all of the obstacles and all of the challenges, he was able to uh, somehow uh, create uh, not only a publishing uh, company, but he was also able to become involved in banking. As a matter of fact, I understand he had something to do with Citizens Bank. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that individual and his time mm -hmm. R.H. Boyd coming out of slavery. And well, able to do these the things. individual is Richard Henry Boyd, mm -hmm. and uh, Richard Henry Boyd was born a slave in 1843 in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. By the time he was 15, uh, he uh, was sold mm -hmm. and uh, went with his master's family to Texas. At the end of the Civil War in 1865, uh, he learned to read and write. Mm -hmm. He was a cowboy. He worked, you know, rustling mm -hmm. cow. I'm not rustling mm -hmm. cow, but, uh, <laughs> but rounding, rounding up, up cow. cow. <laughs> All but right, good, very cow good. Like any other cowboys <laughs> did. And that, they might have done a little <laughs> rustling too, Dr. Love. Go on, very Doing that hard work, uh -huh. uh, you know, out on the great Texas mm -hmm. plains uh, and out in East Texas mm -hmm. where he grew up. Mm -hmm. And uh, he uh, got married in 1869. Uh, his wife died. He remarried. Um, and uh, they went on to raise uh, quite a family uh, of children. And uh, he uh, went to school mm -hmm. to learn more at Bishop College in Texas. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, uh, he uh, was ordained as a minister mm -hmm. and helped to do a lot of organizing mm -hmm. of black Baptist associations in Texas, where there were few right after slavery. Mm -hmm. 
So he was one of the early leaders, mm -hmm. and most people at that time, remember, were former slaves mm -hmm. like he was. But he was a brilliant uh, man. Mm -hmm. And he was able to, and, and, and I'm intrigued by the idea that uh, he learned to read after slavery, you uh -huh. see, and, 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 and the ability to be able to do so. And of course, uh, let me make preparation, Dr. Levy, for our first uh, commercial break, after which time we'll come back and talk about some of the other activities mm -hmm. and, and members that R.H. Boyd, as well as other members of the family, became involved in. And of course, we'll be back with our audience following this very, very short commercial break. The topic is the...